Hey, PCW fam, it's Pastors Gray and Ann coming at you with an update about what's going on here at the church. We want to start with this Sunday. We are celebrating the day of Epiphany. Epiphany. Epiphany, which is like light, which is like a aha moment, but also for the church is a remembrance of the Magi, the wise men, following the star to the Christ child. We will celebrate that day. I will be handing out star words. Uh, and uh, as we did last year, uh, and maybe this year is a good time, this week's a good time for you to look at the star words you had from last year and reflect on how mm. God worked through that word yeah. as you prepare to get a new star. And I'll be talking about all that on Sunday, so come on out uh, and get yourself a star and celebrate this day of Epiphany. We will also be celebrating communion, and we will be in the great room. Yes, and we hope that you will plan to stay after worship. We are going to be having an informational meeting. We've had a team working behind the scenes looking at the church's HVAC system. I know, very exciting. But um, our HVAC system is in critical condition, so we're working hard to come up with a solution to replace it. Um, we've got a lot of work that has been done, and there's still a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Um, and so we just wanted to kind of give you a status update, give you some background on the steps we've taken, where we're at, what we're waiting on, what you can expect this spring, um, and kind of some of the, the key pieces of information we're waiting for that'll help us then share more information for Absolutely. you. Um, so we're exploring options, um, but we wanted to just give the whole congregation an opportunity to learn about that. Um, I've been working with Lisa Kaufer. We will have some extended um, childcare time. So if you're a family and you're interested in learning about this um, and you um, have kids, you don't have to worry about them being squirrely while you're trying to listen about HVAC. So they can stay downstairs in the nursery and with godly play for some extended time down there. And um, if you can't come and you're interested, um, let us know and we can get you our slide deck or connect you with one of the team members who's been um, working closely on this project that can help answer some of your questions. But we'll be giving you a big update on Sunday after worship. Great. Thank you for that, Ann. And also, I hope everybody stays. It should be a good meeting for us to understand what's going on with all that stuff. Also, uh, in the month of January, we are supporting our one of our missions partners, the Men's and Women's Shelter Houses. So we will be collecting uh, blankets, hats, gloves, and socks. I know many of you have been awesome about bringing coats and some other things over Christmas. Now we're going to shift gears towards blankets, hats, gloves, and socks. Be bringing those in throughout January, and we will make sure that our uh, neighbors at the shelter houses get them. Uh, they are in need of these things always, so this is a good opportunity for us to partner with them. Well, I think that about wraps it up, Ann, right? That's right. All right. That's so what we got for you. We look forward to seeing you all this Sunday to celebrate Epiphany. God bless, and we'll see you then. Bye.